This is one of those repairs that can happen a lot, particularly with men's suit trousers or normal trousers. Below the zip, the seam splits. And it's actually impossible to get the sewing machine to the bottom of that um, zipper because of the way the zip has been inserted. So that means you need to do a little bit of unpicking and I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing you need to do is to unpick any zigzagging. Usually, not all the time, but usually there's a little zag zag zigzag at the bottom of the zip. So you need to unpick that and get rid of all of the threads that are involved in that zigzag. The second thing you need to do is to release the uh, flap section which is usually secured uh, to the uh, opposite side of the zipper and again this is usually a zigzag so you need to release that. Now that you've done that, just check that the first section that you unpicked, the zigzag, that um, that is actually released completely. You can see there, there was a little bit that was still there. And now the last thing to do is where it's actually stitched down, you know, you can see that when you look at the trousers from the top, that the zip is stitched down, you can see the stitching. You want to unpick a little bit of that, um, probably about, I don't know, maybe two inches, uh, which is about five centimeters, just so that you can um, get to that seam that you need to get to at the bottom of the zip. It's probably a good idea to pin it together. Um, that's what I did. And um, what's good about doing that is that when you pin it, you can make sure that the pin is correct on the other side as well. Um, so that you haven't moved one side of the, um, the panel across. So you can see I'm just pinning it there and then come back and make sure that's pinned in place. Now we're ready to sew. I've only got a, com a couple of comments to make here. When you lower the needle, just make sure you lower the needle into the original stitching and then lock it off and then sew, if you can, into the original stitch line so that um, it's not noticeable when you look at it on the right side. For example, if you had a, a panel to one side, then you might see the original stitch line, um, the dots from that, when you turn it inside out and look at it from the right side. So it's important um, to try and do that. And then when you come up to the bottom of the zip, you want to make sure that you again are into the original stitching. Now I'm going to sew it twice because the first time to make sure it was correct, the second time just to strengthen it for that for the partic this particular client. Now sometimes pieces from the original stitch are going to uh, stick up uh, on the right side. So you can see there I'm just cleaning it to make sure that it's nice and clean. And now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to um, stitch the, um, the bottom section down again. So I'm going to get rid of any threads that are there and I'm just going to pin that flap that comes underneath the zip. I'm just going to pin that out of the way because I don't want to stitch that down yet. And now I'm going to do the same as I did before and that I'm going to lower the needle 
um, into the original stitching um, and lock that off and again I'm just showing you make sure that that other sections out of the way and I'm just going to lower that down now it's important of course to use a thread color that's as close as you can uh, to the original uh, stitching that was there I happen to have you know boxes of uh, threads and colors so that I can try and match um, if, if you don't have it I do suggest you go and buy the right color because you know you'll always use it for something else so now I'm coming around and I'm almost at the end and I'm just going to lock off like I'm within um, you know just almost exactly to the end but not quite because I'm going to uh, zigzag and I didn't want to catch that section underneath you know you don't want to catch that because you want to be able to fold that back so I'm just showing you there and there it is stitched down now we can bring that um, under section across and zigzag that back into place exactly where it was before And the last thing to do is the first thing that we unpicked, which is the zigzagging at the bottom of the zip. Um, now I didn't use um, white underneath on the bobbin. You could, um, with my machine, sometimes I find that the white will come up and I didn't really want to do that. And it's a repair, so I'm not that concerned about the fact that there was not white on the cotton. As long as it's looking good on the outside, I'm quite happy with that. Now you can see there that there's a thread. So I'm just going to pull that up and get that out of the way. That's from the previous. And there's the finished repair. You could probably charge about $20 or $25 for that repair, even though the client might think, oh, you know, that's only a you know $5 job. It's not, as you can see. Um, and I actually charge $20. Happy altering.